right. So now we've got Raphael on our left, Christian on our right, and let's see. So Christian looks, or Christopher, sorry, not Christian, looks like he's taking a mulligan on the draw. Yep, and it looks like Mark, uh, Raphael let off with a seal of fire. That's actually really, really good for his interactive bits against Infect, um, because now he doesn't have to tap There's the once man. upon a time. Yep, we found it. <laughs> so the over-under was two, and we got the under. There's the aforementioned forest that he found, and a... Noble Probably armor. dead Noble Hierarch. Oh, extremely dead. Wow, that lasted about 0.5 seconds. Mm. Still longer than game one last round. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, All we got, right, here's we got a goif. Man, that guy's already a 3-4. Gross. That is nice. So what are the other threats in this list here? I've got... Uh, ooh, he's got Scred on top of Lightning Bolt and Tar Fire. That's actually a good idea. Um, if we could put some of the names of the deck archetypes once we find them out each round. Yeah. And then... So we <clears throat> fetch land cracked. Got ourselves a steam vent. Okay, so now we've got a 4-5 Tarmogoyf. Big boy. That is a big boy. Yep. And it looks like he's going in to take a bite. Yep, there you go. So Tapped. Chris is going to drop down to 16. Tapped and attacking. And that's usually how we like our goyfs. I see a Ren and Six in Raph's hand. In Mark, uh, Raph's hand. Yeah, so going over <laughs> the rest of the threats, we've got Ren and Sixes, Tarmogoyfs that we've already seen. Um, and Tarmogoyf is dead. Dismember says, mm, arms and legs. These need to go other places. Uh, ooh, Jace Friend's Prodigy. And other cards here. We've got Ice Fang Coattles, Eternal Witness, a Bedlam Reveler in here. That's dope. Ooh. We've also got a Clothis God of Destiny, an okay. Uro, a Scavenging Goose, one Magus in a Moon, and a Gore Clan Rampager. So that's a pretty complete traverse package for when a, a Delirium is achieved. So this is uh, pretty interesting. It looks like the Nexus is going in for so a we've got bite. Crashing Game for just one currently. Potentially. What was that that just got so cast? So let's see what's happening to the Scred. Was that Scred that just got cast? Yeah, that was a Scred that he's currently pointing at the Ingmoth Nexus. I assume he's just taking the one damage. Yeah, that got pierced. Yep. So we still have a very much alive Ingmoth Nexus. So Raphael's going to crack a Scalding Tarn. And he's going to dig for... Not time. Wrong format. Plain old Snow-Covered Island. And there's a Traverse. Okay. So we've got all four types here. We've got, what is it? Uh, instant creature land enchantment. So let's see what he chooses to grab here. It is the Magus of the Moon. So this is not a handshake because of the basic forest, but Magus is gonna be really strong here. Yeah, so. And now we can flip Jace if he chooses to. This is just sunny side up Raphael. It looks like that's what's going to happen. He's going to get flipped over. Those are once upon a time. No thank you. I'll take the Planeswalker. Yeah, Ren and Six is uh, pretty good. Yeah. And we have a J Breeding Pool up, life Slash is beautiful. Mountain. So once the, um, once the Magus of the Moon is down, what's Christopher's options here? Um, Christopher's options are simply using that forest to either play a Noble Hierarch and hope it lives, which we know he has the Renin Six, so it won't, but that's the route. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Never mind, it's now known. Um, or to have exactly mutagenic growth in hand and get a creature to untap. Okay. Those are the routes. Um, he can draw a Dismember to kill off Magus of the Moon, maybe untap with that Ink Moth Nexus and do something with that. Okay. But let's see, are there two Dismembers in here because we have seen one? There is only one dismember in the so main here, that, so that's that's out. That plan does not work. That is not going to be a thing that happens this I'm, game. I'm assuming he has no way to get that back. No. So basically what's going to have to happen here is that Christopher is going to need somehow a Hierarch to untap with that Renin Six that we already know about on board, which not going to happen. Yeah. Um, or he needs to have exactly a mutagenic growth. Is that even in his deck? Let me see. I don't remember seeing you. No, or... there is not a mutagenic growth in this list. So, so is he just... This one's going to be a handshake. This... Yeah, I was going to say, is he just dead here? Uh, Christopher is dead, but I guess for his posterity's sake, he's still going to play. So that he can at least... into Tarmogoyf. Woof. So yeah, we know this game is over, but Christopher is probably going to prolong the game just to see more cards out of Raphael and see yeah, what he's playing. So at this point, it's a scouting expedition for Christopher. I think he's pretty well locked down. Yeah, this this game is all the way over. That's uh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> for Chris, Not for anyway. Raphael. Not for Raphael. He's like, I'm good with this. I got one one in fight. There it is. There's yep. All right, pack it up. 
So, so would it have been beneficial for him to like maybe play it out for one or two more turns just to see if he can see a couple of cards? I definitely would have at least seen if he would have played, if Raphael would have played one or two more cards so that Christopher could see him, I would definitely not have scooped for that reason. Mm -hmm. But that game was definitely over, so it's not necessarily an incorrect scoop. So sideboarding, what are we looking at here? So out of the sideboard here for Raphael, we've got... Um, Aethergust is interesting. I don't know if he'll bother signing it in, but it's there. Um, Tunnel Ingus is a cool one, but not necessarily here. Same with Harsh Mentor. He's got Threctus, Tireless Tracker, a Questing Beast, hmm. an Eidolon of the Great Revel, which I kind of enjoy, a Reclamation Sage, and a Glenelendra Archmage. So, so a real toolbox. Yep, so that yeah, so that Traverse package is pretty sweet. Yeah. Um, I expect only a copy of maybe Eidolon, but probably not, and Glenelendra Archmage definitely to go in. Yeah. Um, so he could side into Aethergust, but I don't necessarily know that it's necessary here because he's got so many good red cards for the same matchup. Okay. Um, Aethergust technically can put a um, Glistener Elf on top of his deck or put a spell like a Vines of Basswood on top of the deck, but he's already got a bunch of one mana solutions and Screds and Lightning Bolts and Seal of Fire, so I don't know that that's going to happen so here. So the little, the little guys weren't going to live long regardless. Yeah. So that's what I expect Raphael to only side in Glenelendra Archmage, but I would understand if he puts an Eidolon as well. Okay. Um, out of Christopher's board here, we've got Viridian Corruptor, which he could put in to kill Arkham's Astrolabe. Uh, we've got Force of Vigor, but I don't think that's going to do anything here. Grafdigger's Cage, Spell Pierce, probably. Uh, there are two copies of Mystical Dispute, but he, other than Jace, just lost to a bunch of red and green spells. So I don't think that's going to happen. Hmm. Um, but we do have a second Dismember. Three Veil of Summers, which also should not go in here. A Spell Skite, which he's probably windmill slamming. Yeah. A Kitchen Finx, which is okay, and a Weather to Storm. Um, so here, I think just Spell Skite and Spell Pierce are going to make their way into the deck. Okay. And maybe a Corruptor if he wants to try to shut off the Astrolabe, but that's not necessarily Well, needed. maybe that second Dismember, too, because you, you were mentioning oh, yeah, the last yeah, game. Oh, yeah, the Dismember. <laughs> yeah, the Dismember to kill off Magus and Moon is going to yeah. end up going in as well. I just forgot I said it. <laughs> uh, so lots of options here. Now that Christopher's on the play, we get to see a potentially very, very different game. Yeah, this. I mean, with it with infect, the game can be over what turn two? two? Turn well, two. no, no, turn three here because there is no mutagenic growth. Okay, yeah. Um. So so the clock is increased by a turn. Um. So actually, no. Scale up exists now. I'm sorry. I'm thinking old format. No, we have scale up plus any other green spell means you're just dead. Okay. So let's see. Opening hands. There's the Magus of the Moon, so let's see if Raphael keeps that hand. Let's and what's happening in Christopher's hand? Can't really Can't see. tell just yet. Yeah. He's keeping it pretty close to the vest. He's gonna go with a forest. <clears throat> Once upon no, a time. No, a free spell first. <laughs> yeah, it's like let's just dig a little deeper here. Always see what we the got. free spells. And Ink Moth Nexus. But we now have seen two free once upon a times. Yep. So over under achieved. Forest and Moon. there's the Glistener Elf. Uh oh. Okay, clock is officially dead. Never mind. Oh nope, it's dead. <laughs> he forgot to take off his metal hat, and yeah, lightning Lock, happens. Lock. Ink moth into pass. Yeah, I was gonna say either a noble hierarch or just a pass turn. Looks like a pass. Yeah. Yep. And the prismatic vista is gonna dig for a basic. He got himself a forest. Okay. Are we going to see running six? Is it, I was going to say, are we getting a running six out of this turn? Tapping one. Nope, it's an astral aid. Okay. Another very powerful card, and there's another once upon a time. Hey, that one wasn't free. I don't know if that counts. Now, do you think Arkham's Astrolabe is in danger in modern? No. Um, Arkham's Astrolabe is very, very stable, but it doesn't have the same effect in modern that it does on Legacy. In Legacy, Astrolabe is a little egregious because it basically negates Wasteland almost completely. Okay. Um, and now you can have four color control decks in Legacy with cards like Oko and Jace and not Ren and Six anymore because it's banned, but you that's a Snow Forest um, that... It's a snow forest on Rapsky. It is, yeah. but it's a um the, the one of the um the cool promo ones. And we have a what is that? Dead, but that's what it is. Doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, okay. I was gonna say there was a green man open, that wasn't guaranteed. But it is definitely dead now that we've seen a spell resolve. Um But yeah, so that was a promo snow covered forest that's on Raphael's right side. Yeah, from the uh, secret layers. 
Yeah, so it is a super, super cool one, but I can see the question because it does look a lot like the, I guess, uh, just regular non-snow forests. Do we have another Blighted Ancient? We do. So let's see if this one actually gets to untap. This gets stomped? Mm, maybe. You thinking about it? Does he want to keep this one alive? Can he keep this one alive? I mean, he should probably keep it alive because not <laughs> only would it negate the spell itself, but also it would stop him from just casting it next turn, too. That's true. So are we going to fizzle the spell with something protective, or are we just going to let that slide? I mean, Stomp makes damage unable to be prevented, so it'd have to be at least a toughness enhancer. I think you have No, no, no. Here. All he has to do is give it Hexproof of some sort. Or Hexproof, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I see a pump spell in his hand. In Actually, he would rather give it Hexproof than extra toughness because giving it Hexproof counters the spell and puts the Bone yeah. Crusher Giant in a graveyard. Whereas he now, yeah, if all he did was give it extra toughness with like a Might of Old Krosa, he would just get to untap and cast the Bone Crusher Giant. That's true. So Ink Moth is going to be coming mm, in, uh -oh. looks like. Are we dead? Because he's going to go for it. Uh... So what is that? That's a Might of Okrosa's on the right. We see a Distortion Strike, so that's a guaranteed six with just those two spells. Here he comes, and get mana. And we have a Nice Fang Quaddle. Okay, flash in a snake to try to block. That was uh, not a Distortion Strike. Oh, Dismember, okay. Dismember, kill ya. So we know that Raphael's not dead this turn, but... Or, like okay, or close. Life. He's also not close to dead. So now, so maybe Chris I'm positive just, he's jamming this Magus. Yeah, Chris, I think, was just feeling ah. things out. And there's the Magus. Oh, boy. So things got real oh. hard again. And actually, it does look like Raphael elected to side in that um, Eidolon of the Great Revel, too. So we can see it all the way on the right-hand side of his hand now. Fresh Glistener Elf. But, yep, this was the route. So And there's Ren and Six. Oh, no, Ren and Six. Oh, he's not playing Mutagenic Growth to protect it. This thing's dead. Well, he can't. Even if he wanted to, he couldn't cast it, I don't think. Or no, no, that, that Phyrexian has Phyrexian Man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that is a dead elf. Yeah, so this one's not necessarily a full handshake again, but it's a pretty it's rough real look. Real close. Following that up with another Astral Aid. Get oh, another man. Card, cash it in. So, so you got a, now Christopher's got exactly one mana. Raphael's got perfect mana and a way to kill every creature he looks at. Um, so this may be yet another pretty instant handshake going so on here. Quick one. And our three astral three. A thought scour. A thought scour. What are we milling? Oh man. Yeah, Raph is way ahead right yeah, now. Yeah, this game is. Honestly, not close. No, I agree with you. Um, so Mattis198, the teamer looks, looks really, really sweet. And I agree with you. This thing's got a lot of great tools. Um, so I am a huge, huge fan of what I'm looking at right now. And there is a lightning bolt also in Raph's hand in case anything else comes down. Yeah, just in case something happens to survive Renin 6. Turtle Witness is on play too. Oh yeah, this is just... Uh, None of this looks great from Christopher's side of things. Yeah, I think it's, just, it's going to be one of those. Let's go to each side of our cards in play and just swoop them up. Untap, upkeep, scoop phase. Coming in for four more. Oof, make that a lot more. Oh, oh burn, so that's 11 dead, damage done. to the face. And that's going to be your match. That was, that was fast. Yeah, it was. So